What is up, Washington Commanders fans? It's your old friend, Indy Car Tim, here with the Washington Commanders Daily Blitz podcast right here on FanStream Sports. Welcome into the show. Welcome into the network. Make sure you check out FanStreamSports.com for all of the greatest and latest college football and NFL and other stuff, podcasts and news. Appreciate y'all chiming in here with us briefly. It is Sunday. It is Carolina Panthers post game. And how about that? Just an absolute shellacking of the Carolina Panthers who fall to one and six. Your Washington Commanders improved to five and two. They're three and oh at home. And how good does it feel to be a Commanders fan for the first time in? God, I don't know. When was the last time it felt good to be a Commanders fan before? Little Danny Snyder owned the team, so going back to the last century, maybe? Um, Man, things are rolling quite nicely um, in in D.C. right now, and it's fun to watch. Uh, Marcus Mariota replaced injured rookie quarterback Jaden Daniels early in the second quarter. Dante Fowler returned an interception, 67 yards for a touchdown, and the Washington Commanders routed the Carolina Panthers, and I do mean routed. 40-7 Forty to seven on Sunday. Concerns over Daniel's status overshadowed the victory after the number two pick and offensive rookie of the year favorite left with a rib injury. Uh, his mother posted on social media that he's fine, and given the lop- lopsided score, it would have been more surprising if Daniels had returned anyway, as he spent the entire second half on the bench, chatting and laughing with teammates in street clothes, of course. So I wonder if he was well enough. Had this game been in question? or had it been someone other than the Panthers, uh, if he would have been able to return, or they just didn't because, uh, you know, he didn't have to, which was really good. That's good that he could get the rest, clearly. Um, But the Commanders did fine without him for the vast majority of the game. He had a 46-yard run and completed a couple of passes on their opening possession. They already led at that point, thanks to Fowler's pick six, Andy Dalton's first of two interceptions, the second by Emmanuel Forbes, who returned from being a healthy scratch last week. The defense dominated, allowing 180 yards, stopping seven of 10 third down chances and sacking Dalton twice. With Mariota running the show, Washington chugged along and racked up 421 yards against the Panthers, who allowed the most points through uh, of any team in the Super Bowl era through the first six games of a season. Mariota was 18 of 23 for 205 yards with touchdown passes to both Ben Snow and Zach Ertz. Uh, Brian Robinson Jr. also ran for a touchdown in his return from a knee injury, uh, which, of course, caused him to miss the game last week in Baltimore. Um, The 27-point halftime lead was the largest in franchise history since being up 28 to nothing over the Cowboys. On December 18th, 2005, Carolina's lost season continued five games into Dalton's uh, being the starter there after he took over from number one pick Bryce Young uh, as the starting quarterback. Dalton finished 11 to 16 for 93 yards. Uh, Bryce Young showed up into the game and mop up duty with just under five minutes left, completing two passes for negative yardage. So anybody questioning Jaden Daniels over Bryce Young? I don't think anybody is, are we? Uh, I don't think so. Or is anybody questioning Caleb Williams over Bryce Young or Anthony Richardson over Bryce Young? Man, I... uh, Or Anthony Richardson over Jaden Daniels? Man, I I know there's a quarterback out there that I'd rather have right now than Jaden Daniels. Uh, I know C.J. Stroud's rocking things in Houston right now. Uh, Very much a similar player uh, to Jaden Daniels, but he's a lot of fun to watch, and we certainly hope everything's healthy. We will update everybody here on FanStream Sports and on uh, the Washington Commanders Daily Blitz podcast as to his status for next week. Um, Also injured during the game, rookie left tackle Brandon Coleman was concussed in the first half. Uh, So we will also continue to monitor his status. Uh, for next week uh, as the commanders will host the Chicago Bears and 
that number one pick, Caleb Williams. It'll be a great matchup. Chicago's playing pretty well right now. Uh, but keep in mind, they're still Chicago, and Chicago's going to Chicago at some point. Um, so, yes, we will look forward to Bears Commanders next Sunday. Uh, we'd love to discuss all of the day's events with you. If you are so inclined, find me on threads and on the X at IndyCar Tim. If you're watching the video, you'll see it on the screen right over here. It's hard to do this backwards. Um, but uh, yes, look for the next episode. We will preview Chicago, Caleb Williams, that Chicago offense, that Chicago defense, as well as Jaden Daniels' status and Brandon Coleman's status throughout the week here during practice. Appreciate you guys tuning in very, very much. Uh, if you're listening to the recorded podcast, please subscribe. Give us a great review on whatever podcast app it is that you consume your podcasts on. Or if you don't have one, you can head over to fanstreamsports.com or the Fanstream Sports mobile app to get all of our great content, our videos, our shows. Uh, don't forget to check out Fanstream Sports TV, which is our YouTube channel where most of these podcasts can also be seen and heard. Uh, We will do it all again to preview the Bears. Until next time, boys and girls, we'll see ya.